Rahman Rahim in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most kind. Allah says in the Quran, O mankind, there has come to you a direction from your Lord and a healing for the diseases in your chest and for who believe guidance and a mercy. So today we will discuss granulomatous inflammation. It is a special type of chronic inflammation which is characterized by granuloma formation. Chronic inflammation is associated with tissue damage and mononuclear cell infiltrate. Mononuclear cells are lymphocytes, plasma cells and macrophages. Granuloma is composed of collection of epithelioid cells. Epithelioid cells are activated macrophages. They are surrounded by lymphocytes and they may form uh, giant cells. So these giant cells are called Langhand type giant cells, they have peripheral nuclei. So composition of granuloma is epithelioid cells, multinucleated giant cells, there is color of lymphocytes. In the center may have caseation necrosis and in the outer there may be fibrosis. There is uh, antigen pre presenting cells present antibody, antigen to the CD4 T1 type of helper cells. They secrete interleukin 2, TNF and interferon gamma. So there is uh, TNF causes chemotaxis uh, of monocytes and interferon gamma, um, action of interferon gamma convert them into epithelioid cells. These are activated macrophages and they fuse to form giant cells. So this is how the granuloma is formed. Granulomatous inflammation can be caused by infectious agents and non-infectious. The most common is mycobacterium tuberculosis. There may be leprosy can cause also granulomas. There are fungal granulomas, parasitic infestation and in non-infectious immune mediated like sarcoidosis and foreign body granuloma. Today we will discuss the prototype the tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a common disease in Pakistan. It is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. It is a special type of bacteria which cannot be stained with the normal uh, gram staining. So it has it is stained by a special stain which is called Zeal Nielsen stain. They are also called acid fast and the symptoms of the tuberculosis are cough pain in the chest, uh, blood in the sputum, weakness and weight loss. So patient can have cough, afternoon fever, weight loss, blood in the sputum or night sweats. So these are the symptoms and usually spread of tuberculosis is airborne by coughing without covering the mouth, spitting everywhere and close crowding. Tuberculosis can be pulmonary and extra pulmonary. So any organ in the body can be affected uh, by the mycobacterium tuberculosis, lungs, lymph nodes, CNS, intestine, gonads, bones, uh, renal system, uh, spleen and liver. It is can be diagnosed by skin test chest x-rays, analysis of sputum, uh, CBC showing raised ESR by fine needle aspiration cytology and PCR based test and the culture is the gold standard. Now the skin test is called Mantle's test, uh, subcutaneous injection is PPD is uh, injected in the below the elbow and then induration is measured after. 48 to 72 hours. So sputum, sputum can be stained with the ZN stain and can be examined under the slide under the microscope. This shows pink beaded rods and patient must bring uh, sputum uh, three consecutive days and there can also be culture uh, on the special media which give creamy white uh, colonies and it takes long time six weeks the culture become 
positive after six weeks. Now the fine needle aspiration cytology of the lymph nodes, peripheral lymph nodes show granulomas. Here you can see clusters of epithelioid cells with cigar shaped nuclei. Uh, there is another view. These are the um, epithelioid cells and prevention is best. Uh, personal hygiene, immunization, healthy lifestyle and environment because uh, the treatment for tuberculosis is costly and 9 months uh, patient has to take on different antibiotics. So the clinical scenario usually a 16 year or young child uh, with cough, low grade fever, history of night sweats and in on physical examination you can see mated uh, lymph nodes in the neck and uh, biopsy of the lymph nodes will show uh, caseating granulomas, uh, typical Langhan type giant cells, the nuclei are placed in the periphery and this is the sketch of the lymph node, caseous necrosis, multiple granulomas. Now identify morphological features in the biopsy based on morphological features what is the diagnosis so we have to put all these information link linking clinical scenario is of typical TB cough low grade fever night sweats weight loss mated lymph nodes raised ESR and microscopic findings are granulomas epithelioid cells Langhan type joint cells lymphocytes and caseation necrosis. So the most likely diagnosis or most likely DN is granulomatous inflammation. Thank you for watching this video. This video has been prepared for you by Pakistan Home School.